Yo! What's up, guys? It's me! I'm back! Your boy! We're in the big screen! You already know what that freaking means. We're unboxing shoes. But before we unbox today's shoes, guys, which you guys already are gonna tell by the title, because I'm gonna try to clickbait you guys. But before we unbox today's shoes, guys, make sure you hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment. Do you like these shoes? Did you cop? Let me know. So literally, what time is it? Today is May 30th, 2023, 4.41 p.m. EST. So a package just arrived. You guys already see from the title, but today we are unboxing the Adidas Gazelle Sean Watherspoon, or the Sean Watherspoon Adidas Gazelle. I think it's called like Kaleidoscope Lens or like Kaleidoscope Dream or something like that. But we're gonna be unboxing it today, the package literally just landed so we got the but we got the we got the goods from the adidas so no nikes today guys no nikes today and oh my god guys by the time this video is uploaded yeezy day might be over i might up if i if i upload this like super early or maybe i'll upload it tonight maybe well I'll, I'll, maybe i'll upload the video tonight depends on how fast this video gets rendered Cause it's already 4:41, and it's like by the time I'm finished editing, rendering the video, it's gonna be like freaking I don't know. It's gonna be so late at night, but we'll see. I'll probably have to do it like tomorrow. But tomorrow, guys, Yeezy Day is happening. Uh, if you guys are copping Yeezys, good luck to everyone. It's gonna be maybe one of the last hurrahs. Maybe they're gonna have like a couple more before. I don't know. They're probably I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know what Adidas is gonna do with Yeezys, but. Tomorrow is Yeezy Day. Get prepared, guys. If you guys want to cop, this is going to be your chance. You've been missing Yeezys. I've been missing Yeezys. I've been unboxing just Nikes every single day. You know, now it's time to switch it up. Where hopefully I can get some W's on Yeezy Day too tomorrow so I can unbox some shoes. But I'm thinking I got some good good luck going on for Yeezy Day because we, we hit a W on the Sean Wilderspoons in my size. Um, so I'm pretty excited. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Yeah, I just got the box here. Um, oh yeah, and if you guys didn't know, we're not, I'm not a freaking shoe unboxing channel. We're like, we're kind of like more gaming and then I just like unbox my shoes that I get for like personals or like resell or whatever. But uh, today's game we're going to be playing, guys, we're going to get back into Final Fantasy X-2. And the reason why I'm getting back into Final Fantasy X-2 is because I don't want to buy God of War right now. Because literally, Yeezy days tomorrow, I want to save up all the money I can. So I can buy as many, hopefully, pairs as I uh, can tomorrow. So we'll see what the damage is for my bank account tomorrow. But um, yeah, we're going to start with Final Fantasy X-2 and then we're going to go to God of War. Hopefully by the time God of War, I complete God of War, there will be like a trailer for like um, Wrath. I mean, not Wrath. Um, World of Warcraft Classic Cataclysm, which I am 100% going to play on release date. I, I didn't play Wrath of Lich Clean on release date because... I don't know, I kind of just wasn't really feeling it, but, um, Cataclysm, I'm definitely feeling because I'm gonna insta-lock a Dwarf Shaman. So if you guys want to play with me or whatever, just let me know in the comments. We can maybe find a server or something, but here we go. We're gonna unbox the Sean Wilderspoon and Adidas collaboration on the Gazelle <clears throat> uh, Indoor. It's called, like, the Kaleidoscope something. Kaleidoscope Lens, Kaleidoscope Dream, something like that. So I'm actually pretty excited to see this shoe because, you know, let's be honest, guys. Nike Dunks have taken over. Let's be completely honest. And Adidas, I'm I don't I'm not really sure of like what the silhouette to rock right now for Adidas is. Uh, is. I think people are kind of hyped on Sambas and maybe Gazelles. I think Gazelles look pretty nice. Um, but that's kind of it right now. Adidas isn't really doesn't really have that many many um you know shoes right now like that are in people's everyday rotation i feel like besides the ones i just named like the samba gazelles and stuff but um here we go we're unboxing the adidas and show them all the spoons and right off the bat the box is extremely tiny so let's look at the box it comes in a regular standard adidas blue box so let's go ahead and take this out and i'm actually really excited to see this shoe because i kind of want to tow these i kind of want to tow these because I think they're clean. I think these are really clean. Um, I think people are sleeping on this shoe. I don't think this shoe got enough marketing. 
um, because I don't know why. Um, but I think it's a really clean shoe. If you uh, were able to cop, then you know, congrats to you. I don't know how. I don't know stock numbers. I don't know none of that on this. But um, here we go. We're opening here. Let's do it together, guys. So let me show you guys. Let's see what the um, thing says. So it says. SW Sean Watherspoon Gazelle Indoor and the color is Ecreton Shanov Man, I don't know what's going on. Is they speaking in like a freaking native Native American or some shit? What I got in a freaking size nine. Let me read this. I, I can't read it. What do, what does it say? Can you can someone read this to me? It's in English, but I don't know what it means. Like what is that? All I can read is gum four. Like what is that? I don't know. I don't think that's English. But it's in English. But anyways, guys. Sean Watherspoons. You guys see this? A little Addy. A little Addy here. I like this. I like this. Because I feel like I'm going to really like this shoe. The forms, the bait forms that I unboxed, they're okay. They're a little bit too flashy. These are a little flashy too. But not as flashy as the babes. Because babes are just straight all out camo. Freaking all this crazy stuff. This is a little more subtle, but also it is still a very loud shoe, if you guys have seen from the pictures. But here we go. We are unboxing the Sean Wallace Gazelles, Indoor Gazelles, in three, two, one. All right, that was anticlimactic. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay. Oh, and also a cool story behind these shoes is that every shoe is kind of like a one of one. So here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. Yo, clean. Yo, sleepers. No, these. this is a sleeper. Oh, shoot, the laces fell out. Let me throw these laces out. Did I sell a shoe? No, I didn't. But I I'm thinking of keeping these. I was going to just resell them because, you know, your boy is not a freaking... I, I need... I'm not like a freaking rich billionaire, you know, so I got to get there, right? So I might have to sell these. But these are looking so nice that, like... Dude, honestly, I might just keep these. And this is like kind of my style too, like for real. I love low tops too. Wow, this, let me tell you something too. So out of all the Adidas Sean Watherspoons, there are some good ones. There are some good ones, but they've been kind of lacking. Not gonna lie, his recent ones have been kind of lacking. I kind of did like those like CX whatevers with the flowers. Uh, maybe I'll put a picture of it up here or something, but like, the flower, I do like that. It's just gonna be extremely hard to style and like that's more of like a fashion piece than like an everyday kind of lifestyle shoe which i feel like he was not kind of designing to for he was kind of designing like for like high fashion like kind of like streetwear kind of vibe um but with this shoe i feel like with these the gazelles i feel like it's a little bit more lifestyle-y you know it kind of just looks like an art piece on your foot and so it's you kind of have like a good excuse to just rock these wear these and I believe these are made out of like all vegan materials or something like that so also very nice you can recycle these it's gonna be chill um, but let's go ahead and do the 360 of the Sean Wallace Adidas Gazelles so yeah actually yeah let me start off let me start off with the top view so we could see right here this insane actually let's do the side view this really dope look at this like Really really sick. Oh, this is no, this is beautiful, man. I think I might keep these. Ah oh, Shit, man <laughs> These are so nice a little cork insole on let me show you guys And it all it's also the materials made out of his Signature material that he likes using on shoes, which is the corduroy Which he used for the Air Max 97s which were which are a banger of a shoe this kind of gives me that kind of vibe a little bit. It's a little more loud than the Air Max 97. The Air Max 97, those are a pretty loud shoes. It's like bright yellow, what is it, like bright yellow green or something like that? I don't, I don't know, but it's not as loud as this, but it's kind of giving me that same vibe, you know? It's kind of giving me that same vibe. And obviously these shoes are look a little flattened, you know, but like once you put your foot in, it's gonna like shape up real nice like this, you know, but it looks like kind of like flat, so it looks weird, but because I like just unboxed these, but wow, might I say I'm actually really impressed with this shoe. Very, very impressed with this shoe. I'd say this collaboration or this silhouette and this design's colorway is a hit. A hit for sure. 
So let me show you guys, let me show you guys more of the design in case you guys are like interested in like what it is. It looks like it's like, it looks like kind of like the stuff in like the Spongebob in the clouds and Spongebob. Or at least this thing right here, the little flower. But yeah, here we got this like really cool and I think he, he said it was inspired, he was inspired by the 70s with this shoe. So it's like this really cool abstract 70s kind of like trippy psychedelic kind of vibe to it kind of reminds me like I'm in like a uh, old like I don't know like just reminds me of like just like it is it's, I don't know it kind of brings me back in time a little bit a little, in a weird way I'm not trying to sound like freaking corny or like d-riding but it kind of does it gives me that vibe you know that vibe yeah, here's the left shoe extremely clean if you guys slept on this big mistake because this shoe extremely extremely clean and it's on a very nice silhouette the gazelle which is you know i mean look at this clean sleek boom bada bing bada boom so that's the left shoe let me show you guys the right shoe because they do have different designs as you can see they're completely different so this is the right shoes design and i'm gonna bring out another shoe that i that i think is kind of similar to this shoe and i feel like Maybe Sean was inspired by this certain individual when creating this shoe. But let me show you this one. So we got the same little uh, flower here. Um, just some really uh, interesting, weird, abstract looking things. Like, look at that. And I really love this rubber um, gum sole or like rubber sole. And I love how it's see-through and you could see the bottom of it. And you could see like the design underneath still and like the stripes running underneath really cool touch to it um, I got a bad feeling that these are gonna get really dirty easily though with most of these like you know luminescent soul kind of things um, but you know it doesn't really matter it's, it's a shoe you know it's, it's supposed to get dirty but materials on these are great so apparently this might be like a vegan corduroy I don't know but it does feel a little not realish if that makes sense but um, here, actually, let me check the QC. QC on Adidas is usually always really good. And I'm not seeing too much. I'm seeing like a little bit of like paint and like dirt. There was like a little bit of a smudge on the toe right here. Um, but let me continue showing the shoe. Um, the design, really dope. Let me do a full 360 really quick because this video has been going on for 12 minutes. So let's do front. We got the tops. On the tongue, it just says Adidas, um, mm, mid, what? With the three stripes, something, it's just like they're Adidas branding. So Adidas branding on the tongue, really cool uh, top down view. I really like the top down view. I love this hit of blue, this navy. So we got the top down right here. Side view is probably my favorite. The side profile is beautiful right here. Very, very beautiful. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic. That might be loud. And then we got the backs so where we have Sean Watherspoon's, um, you know, branding on the back of the little heel tab or whatever. Like that. And we have the bottoms of the shoe. An extremely light shoe, by the way. And we got the bottoms of the shoe. Got that nice little Adidas little logo right here. And just some circles. Adidas logo circles got that like um, rubber gum sole kind of vibe Really really dope pair of shoes. Look at this. It is a little loud You're gonna this is more of like, you know, a, once again like a fashion piece Whereas the Air Max 97s you can kind of wear as like a lifestyle This you can still kind of wear like a lifestyle, but it is a little loud You might need to just like wear like this could dude. look at this hold on this matches with the dr. Seuss vibes hold up this. We could, I could wear this with the the Dr. Seuss shirt. Yo, yo, this is actually a five, dude. I, I didn't even do this on purpose, or did I? Maybe I did. Yo, look at this. The Dr. Seuss shirt with the Sean Wallace spoon, and they match too. The colors match too. Wow, that's actually a clean pairing. This is actually a clean pairing. I could throw a fit on right now. Look at this. Yo, hold on. This is actually clean. Look at this, guys. This could be a fire fit. I need to throw some cool pants on though. Okay, that's the 360 of the shoe. I got my size 9. I'm really, really thinking about keeping these. 
really, really thinking about keeping these. Um, if you don't like these navy laces, they come with two extra laces. A kind of like maroon, like burgundy, red, and then just a regular white. <clears throat> I think it might look good with the... I think it might look good with all the laces, I don't know. But right now, I'm not going to put these on because I, like I said, I'm not a freaking rich freaking uh, freaking Elon Musk, alright? I'm, 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 we're trying to get there though, alright? But, ah, uh, man, I don't think... I think I'm going to hold on to these shoes for a little because... I think these are the next, I think these are Sean's next big thing. He's been kind of missing these past re couple releases, but I think these are the next big thing that he released. These are beautiful. These are absolutely beautiful. And let me show you when I, uh, what, I was, what I was talking about earlier about what I think maybe inspired him a little bit. But let me show you guys. These kind of remind me of a certain other shoe. Alright. So I got the shoe. If you guys... Well, maybe I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna edit it out, I guess. But if you guys, you guys saw the box, we got a Nike SB Dunk, probably one of my favorite SBs of last year. I mean, this is literally my only SB that I own I, as of right now. I've owned a bunch of other SBs, but I've like sold them and stuff. But these Shawns kind of remind me of the neck faces a little bit. You know, it's kind of that like, kind of got that same vibe, except it's more of like a yin and a yang kind of vibe. You feel me? Do you guys, is this a hot take? Is this a good take or is this a hot take? I don't know. It's kind of giving me that yin and yang kind of vibe. Like, look at this. Like, this is like the dark and this is like the light. But it's, it's giving me that same kind of vibe with the neck faces. You have like just the patchwork everywhere. And the neck faces are, these are probably one of my favorite freaking dunks so far. I, I haven't sold these. These are my personals. I just haven't really gotten a chance to wear them because, you know, you, you need to wear like a, a nice fit with these. Oh, but these are so beautiful. I have, these are still DS. Such a beautiful shoe. But it kind of reminds me of like the opposite of these Shawns. The Shawns are kind of like, you know, like more bright, vibrant, where these are more like dark, metal kind of vibes. Um, didn't even take off the sticker tag either, but what do you guys think? Was this a hot take? I think these are kind of similar. And you know, the right shoe isn't the same on the, um, Left shoe for the neck faces as well as these. Um, so I, I don't feel like pulling out. The, uh, we'll, we'll pull out the other one. I love these neck faces though. I just need to find a good day to wear them. Maybe at like the club or something. But yeah, I'm not selling these neck faces. These are for the personal skews. And the paper for the neck faces is so dope. I love the paper. It's so sick. So, we got the two shoes. So yeah, it's kind of giving me like similar vibes in terms of like design aspect. It's kind of giving me similar vibes. What do you guys think? Is it kind of similar vibes? Is it kind of similar vibes or is it just complete? am I completely off? I'm kind of getting the same vibes, but like it's more of like a, like a yin and a yang, you know? The light and the dark version, you know? Um... I'm digging it. And I know Sean and Neckface, I think they're friends, I think? Acquaintances? They know about each other for sure, because I saw an interview of Sean of him mentioning Neckface, actually, and him having his art in his house, I think. So, what do you guys think? I kind of think these these Sean's give me Neckface vibes. These Sean's kind of give me Neckface vibes. It's it's Sean's more... It's his style. They're, the styles are completely different, but it's giving me those vibes a little bit. Like just like the the cool little designs on the shoe, like different freaking I don't know. It's kind of giving me similar vibes. One's like light version and one's like dark version. It's like freaking it's like freaking Link versus Dark Link, you know? If if that makes sense, I don't know. Let me know if that was a hot take or if that was a good take. It might have been a, a hot bad take. But I don't know. That's what it kind of. That's what these shoes kind of reminded me right off the bat. Was these neck faces, and I love these neck faces. I need to. I need to freaking wear these. I still have not worn my worn my neck faces, and I'm not selling these either. These are 100% mine. Whew! Love these. I have my neck face unboxing on my YouTube too. So if you guys want to watch that, see the first time opening these, and checking them out, you know. Box is a little smallish, but um, yep, yeah, there we go. There's my neck faces. 
hit on the uh, Nike shock drop. So shout out to Nike. Shout out to Nike for hooking it up. That Nike does give me wins, but most of the times they give me L's. But um, those are my neck bases. Kind of reminds me, like I said, I've literally just said this like five times already, but like the dark version of, the heavy metal version of the Shawns, you know? It's giving me that same vibe, that like abstract, kind of weird, like people look at your shoe and be like, what are you, like what is that? Like so many different like designs and stuff. Um, very, very clean. I think these are a big W for Sean. Sean has been kind of missing as of lately. So seeing these in hand, um, these are these are a complete W. I'd give these a solid like 8.5 out of 10. Just because of, um, I, didn't, I wouldn't give it a 9. Just because of wearability, it is going to be kind of hard to style. But with this shirt, man, this shirt is, this shirt is fire with this shoe. It's kind of giving that like cartoon vibes, you know? Dr. Seuss. Ooh, and it's got the red here to match with the red here. Come on, man. Was that which Sean? Were you were you looking at? Were you reading Dr. Seuss when you were in, designing this shoe? Tell me. But okay, super clean shoe. I'm I'm not gonna um, I'm just gonna hold on to these because right now in the aftermarket they're going for like um like 170 to like 200 ish. Um. But I have a feeling that people are going to really warm up to these and, you know, the price will maybe go up a little bit because, you know, these are a really clean shoe. Like, if I was to see this in the store, I'd be like, yo, these are clean. Like, when did these come out? You know? So, really, really dope. Um, in terms of packaging, paper, nothing too crazy, which I don't mind. I like it very minimal. Um, but... Nothing, nothing in terms of, nothing that stands out in terms of the presentation. Just the shoes in the box, boom. There it is, you know? But yeah, big W for Sean. Great design. I think he's bringing back that same vibe he did with the 97s, the Air Max 97s, with this Corduroy Gazelle. So, um, I said in my bait video, they just gotta let Sean cook. They just gotta let Sean cook, man. The people at Addy, they gotta let Sean cook. So that's the unboxing. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the neck faces kind of remind you you have like an opposite version of the Sean's? Let me know in the comments. But um, let's get uh, on to the video game. Okay, this review is only 22 minutes. That's good. Usually my shoe unboxing lasts so long. But let's get right into the game, guys. We're playing today. Here, let me... Let me do that. Yeah, we're playing. Yeah, we're playing five minutes. I already talked about it. But yeah, I need to save money for Yeezy Day, so we're not gonna- I'm not gonna buy, um... I'm not gonna buy, um, God of War just yet, because I might need a lot of money, so- And I don't wanna have not enough, you know? So I'm not- I'm- I'm, I'm gonna need to chill on the expensives. Okay, and it's- yeah, it's 5.04 p.m. Yeezy Day is tomorrow, guys. Get hyped. Good luck, everyone. I hope- hopefully, um, Adidas throws out a lot of dubs for everyone. Uh, I'm recording, right? Okay, cool. All right, let's do it. So let's just start a new game. We we start. We already started um, playing this game. Uh, we already already have a part one of this video game, but let's let's just do it again. And I'm just gonna keep it under the same place. I'm not gonna delete the old video. We're just gonna redo it again because at that time I did record the first part, but I kind of was just like not feeling it playing uh, Final Fantasy at that time, so I switched to Minecraft. Duh. Um. And I, I, I just went off on Minecraft. I beat the whole game, and I, I did, like, everything in Minecraft, you know? So, I put Final Fantasy X to on hold. Excuse me, I just ate, by the way, so I'm burping, but... I put X to on hold, and now we're gonna come back to it, so let's just do it. I'm just gonna do a new game. Hopefully the volume isn't, like, extremely loud. Alright, let's watch this together, guys. But anyways, guys, if you guys aren't familiar, this is the sequel of Final Fantasy X. Probably one of the greatest games, um, you know, of all time. Because as of um, two years ago, when I played when I re played the remake, or a year ago, it was amazing, you know. So I'd say of all time, right now, as of now, you know. But Final Fantasy X, great, great game. And here we have the opening cinematic. Let me shut up. So it looks like there's a guard knocked the f out. My man got freaking. My man got freaking slept on. He got freaking slept. Oh, we got a and all the all the girls are looking bad right now. I'm not gonna lie. Some there's a huge difference between Final Fantasy X and X2. All the girls are covered up, and then X2, 
They were just like, F it. So they let the freaking girlies out, you know? But yeah, sequel Final Fantasy X. This is a little spoilers, but, you know, by the end of it, the good guys end up being the bad guys, but at a cost of losing the life of our main antagonist. One of our main antagonists. And this is the other one right here. And she's survived and is just living life. And so now we're following her journey. After the events of the first, the final phase. What can I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yuna! Yuna! My favorite! No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Damn, she got the Tupac hologram dances in the background? Damn! Yeah, Riku kind of bad in- Riku not, not kind of, excuse me. She's real bad in this game. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. We have Yuna, we have Riku, and... and... Hey, my girl's hitting that move though. She's hitting that freaking, uh, what was that? Oh, it's a freaking Just Dance. Hitting that Just Dance 3, baby, let's go. There's a there's another uh, main character. There's a little protag. I believe her name is Kane. So there we go. We have our main protagonists right here. We got three of them. Um, a lot a lot smaller from Final Fantasy X. Our previous cast, which was around nine-ish, I believe, playable characters. So I think we downsized by like two thirds. So yeah, I'm, so I'm guessing Yuna is now like um, after the events of Final Fantasy X, which is really depressing, by the way. Um, she just, I guess, just moving on, just you know, kind of living her life um, as a normal person, you know. So here we have Yuna. And she's like a superstar, I guess, like a singer. Hey, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. All right, enough dancing, you know. We gotta get out of here. We gotta uh, do something. Boys, what's going on? One in on this number, then show me your moves. Yuna, you tricked us. What's going on with Yuna, guys? Uh-oh. Goon. Ecstasy. Man, my, it, she gave him the ecstasy pill? Damn. So here we go, Final Fantasy X-2. Let's steal from this guy. So, it started changing from the um, turn-based, you know, uh, combat to... Just a, or it started transitioning towards more of like a, um, like a real time kind of thing. But this was, this was like as they were transitioning, you know. Um, now, in Final Fantasy nowadays, it is very much like a real time kind of like um, RPG kind of vibe, you know. Which I can, I can appreciate because it's, it's kind of like dope. It's different, you know. Um, but I, I didn't really like when I, when I played this back when I was a kid. I didn't really like the controls too much, but we'll see how I feel about it now. I didn't really like the controls when I played it like a year ago before I ended up uh, just quitting. But maybe I'll get used to it. I like the turn-based. I like the turn-based style thing, or like the um, more recent combat. This was like when they were transitioning, so it's kind of a little wonky. 
I could have danced all night. Sorry! No time for an encore! So the reason why this person looks like Hold Yuna, still. and she's clearly not Yuna, is because of these things called dress spheres, which are the new, um, kind of, um, the sphere Whoa. little talent system, or like, you know, um, a class system, excuse me, um, for, uh, Final Fantasy X-2. Did I just steal from a dead guy? It didn't even work. Oh, we're just one-shotting him, that's why, and Pain's attacking first. But yeah, I mean, regardless of the combat, I'm just kind of here for the story, you know? Oh, come on, guys. You, step aside. I'm just here for the combat, and I'm here for just Riku, to be honest. Not gonna lie. Okay, so I need to stop doing that. Pain just keeps killing him. Yeah, let him steal first, and then I'll attack. There we go. Alright, I need to figure out the controls. Oh, they keep on spawning. That's pretty crazy. So yeah, there's this Yuna impersonator, it seems like. Um, and we're just trying to figure out, you know, what's their deal, you know? Oh, jeez. So let's hit him on this one. So we stole a grenade. Let's just go ahead and throw the grenade skis. Budget grenade skis? And down skis. Let's see what happens. Let's see how much damage it does. Alright, so Riku's taking a little bit of time. The grenade should go off after pain goes. There we go. Boom! Nice. Turned so, on. Took a couple of turns to throw off the grenade. Throw out the grenade, but really, really good. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. Yes. Okay. I did not want to fight there. You're too slow, little girl. Who is that? Who the frick is this? Goes over! <laughs> it's like those dudes from Mulan. Like the freaking the big yeah. guy and the freaking skinny guy from Mulan. Now we just need the other one. The guy with like the 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 guy with the freaking eye, like the only one eyeball. And who might you be? There we go. There's our girly. Hey, Lamau! Gotcha, ass. gotcha, bitch! Pull out the blicky on their ass. Damn. Okay. Got the Charlie's Angel vibes. Y R P. Oh, they looking kind of fire right now. Not gonna lie. Let's, let's get some ass. Trigger happy. I need to press D. Ow, dude. Relax. You know what? I'm just gonna throw a freaking grenade at all of you guys. Frick you. Let's go. Trigger happy. And now we're just attacking. Just you. boom. Get out of here. Ah! Oh, get out of here, you freaking big ass freaking tofu looking motherfucker. Get us out of here. I don't like when he's spinning. Huh? Talk about active mode and wait mode. Hey, get out of here. Sit down, you freaking butterball. Freaking get out of here. I look, I look like a freaking bowling ball. Jesus. Literally. So, yeah, it looks like Yuna, Persistent, not Yuna. Aren't you? Not weird. My grid. Her grid. Give us back Yuni's garment grid right now. Oh yeah, garment Didn't grid. Didn't you girls ever learn to share? Like garment grid, dress fear, I think it's the same thing. It back. Very well, it's yours. <laughs> you tricked me. Is she kind of bad too? I don't know if it's the outfit or what. But, it won't be yours for long, but some, I don't know. Is this appropriate? I guess we gotta fight her. Press S to access the garment grid and train stress fears. Dude, I don't care about this stupid thing. So we're we're changing Uni into the um into the songstress. 
which I believe is the support class. Hey, that was a pretty fire intro though, not gonna lie. Darkness Dance? Oh, let's do Darkness Dance. We stole a Silver Bracer, that's pretty cool. Oh, so we hit him with Darkness. Oh, dope. So that means that she's going to, um... She's gonna it not hit so nice much. Knowing you. Look at Yuna just dancing. Looks so cute. Oh, and there was a miss actually from her. Uh, we can't actually change... We can't change, um, Dress Spheres. Nothing to steal? Alright, let's just attack. We're just attacking now. It was nice knowing you. Alright, you can just keep on dancing. So we're affecting LeBlanc. This is one of this is uh, one of our protagonists. I mean antagonists it seems. So we have LeBlanc. And her uh, goons. I, I won't let you off so easily next time. Not Get sure what our here. not sure what her beef is with us, but we she's could. got some kind of beef with us. What's going on? She freaking possessed by the Holy Spirit or something? What's happening? She started dancing? Alright, here we go. My body just started dancing by itself. I know, right? I didn't know what was going on. I was... Frightened. I was then, frightened. While I was dancing, something happened. What happened? You sure looked like you were enjoying yourself. I was. It you felt need... like some other person's excitement. Nah, just but took the, the, the vibe from the first game compared to this game is literally a complete 180. The vibe of the first game was like super serious, like depressing, sad, fucking like crazy stuff happening, and this one's just like that can I don't know, Riku's looking kinda fine. Not the emotions of the person recorded in the sphere pass to the user. Isn't that dangerous? Uh, man, what is this nerd really talking say. about? But it's your invention. I'm just a kid. <laughs> Dance, Luna. I want to see. It'll cost you. Sheesh. She's kidding. What? No dance? <laughs> Look, sick TV. Goings. Doing to the duck. What's going on? I've completed my latest invention. So we got this kid, he's like a G like a inventor. Creature creator. Use the fiend trap pods invented by Shinra to capture fiends all across the spirit. Okay, so it's just like the um kind of like the arena thing in Final Fantasy X. And like the monster hunter thingy. How do I go to the menu again? Oh yeah, V, okay. Um garment grids. Yuna, Riku, and Pain are currently using this garment grid. Are you sure you want to rearrange his dress here? Yes. Oh, no. How do I change? I need to change... Yuna's dress sphere. Um... Party members. Oh, whoops. Press the wrong button. Yuna... Wait, what? You can have more party members? Dude, I want to switch the freaking stupid freaking thing, man. I don't want to be a freaking songstress. I want to be like a warrior or whatever. Oh, there, that's how we switch. Okay. Is it? Alright, so what do we want our characters to be? So, obviously, you know, Riku's got to be the thief because she's looking the baddest. She got the baddest outfit on. I'm sorry, guys. It just got to happen. So, does that mean that if we change Yuna... To warrior. Oh, it changes back. What? Oh, well, maybe it, maybe the game just won't let us do it yet. Oh, here we go. That's how you switch it. Okay, we have to go to equip. 
So this is Yuna as a thief, Yuna as a warrior, Yuna as a gunner. So we already have Pain as our warrior. So I think I'm okay with Yuna being the gunner for now. Thief is cool, but we already have Riku as the thief. So the only, the only um, dress sphere that we don't have currently on a character is Songstress, which is okay, but I think these are pretty good so far. Sorry, I just gotta check out my, my, my peoples, you know? Make sure they're all fully upgraded, all that stuff. Alright, let's go. This is Pain. I look up to her as a sphere hunter, and also as a friend. Okay. So she's a sphere hunter, and she's a friend of Yuna. I still don't know her bit. very well. She's not exactly the talkative type. I heard she joined the Gullwings shortly before I did. Riku doesn't know much about her either. What now? No oh, nothing. nothing. Oh, Yuna said the same thing. I know everything. You know Shinra's everything. I'll bet. He's a real whiz kid. Yeah, freaking nerd. Uh, Shinra's guide to everything. What the heck is this? Oh, it's just like uh guide book. Shinra's bestiary, Shinra's dossiers. What is this? Oh, it's just like the people. You can learn about Wish the people. Now, what can I do for oh, you? Oh, so it's, it's these guys. I remember these guys. All right, what's this? Oh, let's see if we can talk. Oh, it's Riku. Having fun? You bet. Riku the Bay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm lost. I saw this sphere of you. I'm At sorry. Least it looked like you. I couldn't say for sure. I thought I might find more spheres like it if I joined the Gullwings, so I did. Oh, in case you're wondering, the Gullwings are sphere hunters, and sphere hunters are well. <laughs> This. All right, so Yuna has. We fly all now over Spira. I'm really enjoying myself. Glad to hear it. For a while there, I was starting to feel like a kidnapper. <laughs> Don't be silly. XD XD. All right, let's talk to um this dude, brother. Yuna, has my talking gotten better? He really has improved quite a bit. He told me that he practiced, just so that he could talk with me more. So this is uh, Yuna's cousin, I think, right? Or no, Riku is Yuna's cousin. Yuna is half Albed. So I'm assuming that this is her, like, brother-in-law or some shit, or... No, 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 not brother-in-law. Um, cousin? Maybe? I don't know. Other cousin? I forget. Okay, so we learned a bunch of Albert primers. We have the Albert primers back in the game Let's go! from Final Party! Fantasy X. It's basically Party! just for translation. You scored the Festival as Dress Sphere. Oh, we got a Festival as Dress Sphere now. That's pretty cool. So we actually learned a Dress Sphere just by Still talking about analyzing. Brother. Make sure, guys, you talk to all your... Do everything in the game because Buddy you can unlock cool things like this. Friends. Buddy says he was aboard Sid's airship with us two years ago. These guys literally named when our buddy and brother. Remember, literally, their freaking parents have no originality. Come on, bro. Motherfucker named you buddy, another motherfucker named him brother. <sighs> Excuse me. That's freaking crazy. That's a freaking a crazy. Alright, um. So we got festival list. Every day is a festival. Abilities vary by character. Okay. Steal items, gill, and just about anything else with flim flam. Eight hours of singing and dancing made a victory. Powerful sword attacks and high defenses. Gun from afar. So we, maybe I'll change unit to festival list. Let's see what festival is looking like. Oh, festival is kind of like that, like Japanese kind of uh, outfit, which is kind of cool. We do need a support class. So I think Yuna might be take on the role of support class, maybe. Although I would, uh, although you don't really need a support class. Actually, I mean you kind of do actually. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so here we go. Let's just go ahead and just vibe out. Let's just vibe out and check out the ship, you know. So we're in the deck right now. I think we can go to the cabin. Check what's on top. Alright, oh, is this on the bottom? 
Oh, this is my bottom. Hey, we got a little bar here. We got the dossier. What can I do for you? Hey, let me get that freaking. Let me get that freaking. Uh, let me get that freaking Hennessy no shot, baby. No one real name, so everyone just calls him Barkeep. Brother took him in, and now he works aboard the airship. Get the freaking IPA. The freaking White Claw. The gold store. You can, this guy got nothing in the store, man. Dang. You gotta freaking. You gotta freaking get some shit, bro. You gotta get some shit, dog. So, oh, wow, this is a really nice little uh, cabin area here. Really sick. So what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to click around, see if we can grab anything. Maybe there's like Albed primers. There's like a little thing here, but you can't jump down. <clears throat> oh boy. All right, let's go. Looks like we're done here. There's nothing here. Except for this freaking Smurf looking guy, freaking Willy Wonka dude. Huh? Gold wings! He said report he's gonna say report to the bridge. Alright, so we gotta report to the bridge. Um, but screw that guy for now. Let's just go ahead and explore everything. I just wanna make sure, you know. Oh look at this. We got some chests here. Get some items in here. Cool beans. Is there anything up here? I don't think so. What's down here? Uh, I'm not sure. So we gotta meet um, brother at the uh, the bridge. Oh shoot. We gotta meet brother at the bridge. What's wrong, brother? That's a little save skis. That's a little save skis right there. Boom. Alright, what does this guy want? What do you want? Treasure sphere waves. They're coming from those Ooh, ruins they found at Gagazet. Treasure sphere. Alright! up! Okay, so now we're gonna go to Gagatset. Oh, it looks like we actually have all of the places explored. Wow. Mission, Sphere Hunt. We're getting sphere waves from the top of Sacred Mount Gagazet. Go get that treasure sphere, Gullwings. Sacred Mount Gagazet, silent guardian of Xanarkand, city of the dead. When the faith disappeared, the clouds enshrouding the mountain began to thin and disperse, mm, uh -oh. revealing long Titus. forgotten ruins among its peaks. I think Titus is disappearing. <gasps> hey, the racks are floating! Don't tell me oh. we gotta climb up that thing! No worries, I'll take you to the top. What? That guy, how, what did, but, oh that's Buddy, I thought that was Brother. I was like, this dude's talking in a perfect accent, how is that possible? So this is kind of where we left off in the last video. We fought um, LeBlanc here, and then I think we ended the video. We'll keep going though. Oh, Yuna's getting dizzy. She's getting dizzy. Don't look down. Yuna. Oh shit. And that was some slow reaction, girl. You gotta gotta hurry that shit up. What's your status? Disasterific. <laughs> Not a word. Say disaster us like the rest of Spira. I'm not listening. Uh. Okay. Rico, come in. You want me to hurt him? Uh, that'd be great. Come in. He. Ho. Uh. Right, let's bring up, bring it back up, guys. Bring it back to Earth. Uh. Let's go. We got a mission, guys. We got to find Yuna's boyfriend. Her imaginary boyfriend. This chick freaking... This, this chick is literally a in a Final close. Fantasy game. Literally. Freaking literally. Come in! We're here. Everything's Her fine now. Her imaginary boyfriend looking... Uh... No! Keep an eye on Rico. Alright, so we're at the you top of... So we're at the top of Mount Gagazet. It looks like um, the Faith from the last game have started to disappear which they were, um, you know, a part of the clouds and stuff. 
Press and hold an X while approaching a chasm to leap across. Fail to press X and maybe lose your balance. Be careful. Oh shit. It's kind of like dodging the lightning bolts in um, X2. Alright, uh, Final Fantasy X. Right. Okay, and then we just press X to climb. Damn, girl, she literally hit the freaking. Freaking Michael Phelps jump out the water. Holy shit. Let's freaking get that ish out of here. Hey, let him out. Okay, so we got a little tutorial action. So we have a new mechanic in the game oh, climbing. We're not getting across this way. <clears throat> Let's find another route. Okay. So yeah, I'm not really too sure the point of this game. I think the point of this game is just for Yuna to okay. find her freaking imaginary boyfriend. Just great. Literally. Because I mean, we all know Titus isn't even real. Think this Machina still well, works? Well, maybe he was a real person at one point, but he died. Sin, Sin got his ass. So we'll see what they, how they bring back Titus. I still haven't beaten this game, so Whoa! I'm not really sure how they bring him back, but I know that they do. Sorry. I spoiler. wonder how safe this is. Sorry. <laughs> It stopped. Owie. What happened? Is you know okay? Things are oh disaster. Man, can this freaking simp get out of my freaking ear, man? Disaster this guy is just freaking useless. All he's doing is I just freaking sipping. Needs to freaking actually do something, bro. Uh, Lee, this man is just freaking watching from his freaking airplane, peeping Tom looking ass. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just can't stand. I can't stand freaking just annoying freaking people. Just shut up. Leave me alone, bro. Who are you? For real. Oh, shit. <clears throat> like, all this dude doing, all I'm hearing this guy doing is complain. Like, he's just freaking whining in my ear like a little baby. Like, shut up. What is this? Oh, shit. Oh, we're supposed to go here. Oh. <gasps> This is where LeBlanc, there? LeBlanc fight, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna LeBlanc. go back down, Remember hopefully. Maybe well, there's like a loves. treasure there. Ah, the thief. Whatever do you mean? Ugh, that's what I hate about amateurs. Maybe she'll go away if we ignore her. You! I heard that. Just as I was saying, amateurs, they have no concept of what it takes to be a true spear hunter. <sighs> amateurs, weren't you following us? Is she a Fun. spear hunter or a stripper? I don't know. I don't know. You was right, boss. She's looking like As the other. I don't know what she is. She's looking Indeed. like one or the other. Following I don't know. Apparently, she's a spear hunter. <laughs> I don't know. We're about to freaking, we're about to freaking well, whoop can. that ass, though. I don't give a F who you are. I'm give a freaking, freaking again. Joe Biden. Frick you. Wait, wait, wait. Let's use the butcher grenade. What is Sentinel? Oh, Sentinel Guards, I remember. Oh, uh, we, we ran out of grenades. So here we go. Festivalist is like the Dark Mage, I think. Yo, we're taking a lot of damage. We're taking a lot of damage, and our turns are... Stop your slacking this instant! <clears throat> Love tap? Ooh. So this is probably like some kind of buff. Let's go ahead and just deal with one character at a time. Let's go with Ormi first. So we got the fire sandals. Power break is nice. Oh shoot, we, we hit attack instead of fire sandals. Whoopsies. Enjoy your flight. Oh, okay, one one of them down. We got freaking freaking butterball down. He's out of the freaking. He's out of commission. And we got freaking Stop handsome Squidward over on the instant. right side. We gotta get his ass. Alright, we can go ahead and power. Oh my god, that was a crazy attack from Yuna. Power break. It looks like she had a guard up. 
Uh, let's go ahead and use a potion on Yunuskis. Let's just hit him with the fire sandals. Throw our sandal at him, it should explode. Oh no, it, it, it whiffed. Oh no, we're charging. <clears throat> oh, fire Aga. Oh, oh, she's already gone. Okay, easy, easy fight here. Never underestimate. Do I like you? Oh, you look so cute. With the little kimono thing. Should I should I keep Yuna as a festivalist? It's what's like the dark mage. Huh. And I this is the heal thanks her. I get for going easy on you. Kind of want to do <laughs> hey. it class, Which Who was the think she is? Uh, singer? She's getting hurt. Alright, so that was a little uh tutorial fight there. <laughs> Two tutorial fights actually. And we got the mission accomplished. Oh, we have to race them to the top, right? Oh yeah, we gotta race them to the top. Okay. So it looks like we can't go back and grab the treasures, but it's okay. Uh, do we have to go down here? Oh, we're fighting monsters too? Oh, shoot. Um... Maybe we could steal- Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought I pressed the wrong button. Steal? What do we steal? Potion? Eh. Learned Pilfer Gill? Okay, we learned an ability, too. We don't want to use fire sandals so on the fire next? guy, because it's probably just going to heal him. So we had to just hit him with the regular attacks. Come on, Yuna. Let's go. Oh, it's you. You look a tad flushed. Why not stop to catch oh, up? Oh, so we're breath. still fighting. We're still fighting. What the hell? Snake, we got like monkeys? Snake. Oh, here we go. What's Flim Flam? Use speed skills? Kill for Gil. Oh, okay. Use fire sandals. Oh, wow, that guy died in like one shot. Nice. Oh, we still got one more alive. Nice. Let's go. Yeah, I kind of like Yuna as a festivalist. For now, at least. Until we can find maybe some other, um, uh, better, uh, dress here. Okay, we're still racing these guys? Yo, chill. Oh, treasure chest. White ring. Okay, oh, oh, there we go. <coughs> uh oh, looks like we got some more monkeys. I love seeing new fiends too, new and old fiends. So, or were those one fiends? I think that was maybe a Machina. Oh, here's a fiend. This is a new, this is a new one, or an old one, I mean. Let's steal from him. Quadricorn. We stole a budget grenade. That's pretty good. Let's just keep attacking. Fire Aga. Dang. Fire. Oh my God. Yuna just one shot him with Fire Aga. Holy. I'm not sure where to go, I just know we gotta Oh you know how I hate the damp Sorry boss Sorry boss Kinda reminds me of like um some freaking like Jesse and James kind of vibes, you know? Yeah, I don't know, like, gosh, am I, am I able to get that thing, the treasure chest? I don't know. Let's go with the fire sandals. 
Stone. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Yuna's owning. Yuna is absolutely owning. Yeah, I want to get that chest, but... I mean, we could probably always come back here, right? I think. I hope. Let's show the ladies a nice, warm welcome. Alright, let's go. Regular attack for Yuna. Yeah, we okay. don't need to waste Next, Yuna. Please. Let's go! Yo, if you guys are still watching the video, the premiere, whatever it might be, hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave a comment. Are you a Final Fantasy 10? And are you or are you a Final Fantasy fan? And also, are you excited for Final Fantasy 16? Uh, where do we go? Oh, I'm pretty excited about Final Fantasy 16. I'm hoping they have a P. I don't, I don't think it's a P. I think it's a maybe a PlayStation 4. Only? I'm not sure. I'm ready for more. But if it is out, if it does come out for PC, I'm gonna first read reviews on it to make sure it's a good PC port. And then, where am I, where am I supposed to go? Oh, we could go here. And if it is a good PC port, we're gonna play Final Fantasy 16 because it looks sick. It looks sick. What? This isn't even the right way. Oh shit! All right, we got the preemptive strike. Oh, we got we learned a new ability, Twinkler. I didn't even notice that. What does Twinkler do? There we go. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, we have to go here. Right here. Oh, man. So much climbing, bro. Oh, my God. I can't hit the jump. Oh, we got... The they're, they're, they're guy's falling off the map. They're falling off the map. Freaking idiots, man. Would, uh, would you would you stop staring? All right, let's go help him. I mean, we really shouldn't, but I guess we'll help him because I mean, I'm not an asshole. Sometimes I can be, but muscle belt. I actually will leave him. See you later, nerds. We made it here before you, haha. Uh -huh. Eugene Krabs! Something like this? It comes. It comes. Zayon. Let's go. I actually do I like this go. battle, uh, this combat a little bit more. Not gonna lie. What does this do? Cures? Oh, this does cure status ailment. Flame tongue? Screw it. We stole a remedy. Alright, let's see how much damage Fire Aga does. How much does Fire? 134. Not bad. Flame tongue? Let's see how much Flame tongue does. 66. That's terrible. Let's do a power break. We just gotta hit him with the attacks. Let's just keep going. We're going, we're going. Oh, that was a good one. Thank oh, you. oh, it died. Wow, that was that was pretty fast. I don't think there's like a difficulty level here in this in this um in this game. I don't think there's a difficulty level. I think it's just um Found it! It's own difficulty, I think. Just one difficulty. It's this freaking body too. Doesn't know whether she wants to be a freaking sphere hunter or a freaking stripper. It's obvious to the trained eye. The stripper at freaking Magic just City. A dud. Perfect for the Dell Wings. The Dell Wings. Let me put my phone away. Let me get you wings again. 
YRP, well, baby. I guess we'll be taking this. Let's go! Score one for the gold wings, baby! Let's go! Freak yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay, cool beans. So we found a sphere. Oh, and I think we ended the game when we, uh, like, heard about the, uh, we saw the sphere of the maybe Brother, Titus. mission complete! <laughs> Brother? He's not with you? What? Yo, this guy is a clown, bro. He's a simp, bro. Get his ass out of here, bro. And he's a simp, and he's not even useful either, which is the worst kind of freaking simps. It's freaking just simp is just freaking annoying. I'm sorry, I'm raging. I'm raging. What happened? He got freaking simped out. That's what happened. I see you breathing. You breathing, bruh. He said something about Yuna being in trouble. Then he just jumped ship. <clears throat> Here he is. Freaking useless. He's alive, right? Just leave him there. Can you analyze the sphere we found? I'm on it. So this sphere was in Mount Gagazette. All the way in the little temple thing. When we get you up, man, get your simp ass up, boy. You faking it, bro? Ignore him. You freaking get you. You a simp, man? Get out of here. The treasure sphere. Ask Shinra. He should be done about his analysis. Just leave him. We're safer on autopilot. Which raises an important question: What does brother actually do around here? That I don't know. All right, freaking Wade. Complete. Do you guys remember Wanna Wade from Kim Possible? This guy's literally Wade. Remember Wade was like living in a freaking locker room or some shit like that? Dude was literally living in a locker room, giving freaking Kim Possible like all the C CIA freaking intelligence secrets in a locker room. Or in a freaking locker, I mean. So here we have actually um, uh, Xanarkin. This is Xanarkin before Sin, it seems like, before the Sin attack, before it got just to, turned into the ruins of Xanarkin. So, we have a Seer of Xanarkin. Not sure what year it is, I, but I, maybe I it's believe, probably I before got a Sin. What a thrill to be able to shake her hand like that. You know Leska? Think it's worth anything? It's not very exciting. Junk. <clears throat> But we can use it as a dress sphere. Interesting. So we have Festivalist, which I thought was the Black Mage, but no, we just have some. Woo! We just have a dress sphere called Black data. Mage. Goings to your stations. Hey, yes, sir. Uh, how long you plan on lying there? Yeah, you're faking it the whole time, bro. This guy's a simp, dog. Get your lame ass up what out of here. It? Freaking do some freaking the work, bro. The treasure sphere data you've been dying for. <coughs> There's at least one on Besaid Island, and another in the Xanarkin ruins. All right, so we got two dress spheres. Let's so, go. Where to? Selecting a mission. <coughs> Hot spots. Oh, I should have read that shit. Hot spot. Okay. Oh, here we go. Uh, buddy, before you leave, let me tell you about the mission select menu. On the left, you'll find a list of all the places you can go. Hotspots appear when we get a scoop on some data. That's where the action is. Okay, so where the action- Hotspots is where the action is. So b Island Island's actually where we first- Like, we, we started at the beginning of the game when we started. After the, the freaking little ruins thing with Riku. Okay. Uh, buddy. The easy to hard display at the bottom of the screen indicates the difficulty of battles in the area. Okay, so on the bottom left, yeah, I see. The stars, uh, the more stars are, the top of the fiends. Careful out there. That's all. Where to, Gold Wings? All right. Well, first of all, let's go back to Mount Gagazet. Er, uh, is, is that? I want to see if we can go back to that tower. Also, still live here on Mount Gagazet. Oh shit. Kamari is their elder now. And he's working hard to unite his people. Still, it seems much quieter here than it used to be. Okay. Maybe because summoners no I didn't want to. I didn't want to um, trigger mountain. this cutscene, but it looks like we triggered it. 
Oh no. I don't want more cutscenes. Kimari! So he's one of the leaders now of the Ronso tribe at Mount Gagazet. Kimari! You it's so nice well, to see Kimari. Kimari Glam. How you been, Kimari? What's it like being an, an elder? elder? Elder's job difficult. Kimari troubled. Damn, I'm gonna hit the freaking cannonball. Pulling up my freaking Vegeta. Not here. Children have left Mountain, gone to search for Elder's horn. What's going on? Leon and Aid still pups, but bear Ronso future. They're missing? Say they search for a way to fix Kimari's broken horn. Maybe if Kimari had my true gone. elder, these things not happen. Maybe so. Kimari? Kimari. <laughs> I summon a Yuna. It is Garrick's honor. Hello, Garrick. Nice to meet you. Garrick, no Yuna saved Spira, but Ronso not saved yet. What are you talking about? Um. That's a really nice horn. We'll take care of Leon and Aid. Try and be nice to come on. We'll take care of Leon and Aid. Huh. He just goes, huh, and leaves. I don't know if the dialogue really makes a difference. Let's get out of here. Sorry. Um, let's get out of here. We're not supposed to be here. Let's go back to where our hot spots are. How do we travel? Uh, He's pissed. Give it up. Do we have to talk to Shinra? Wait, what did she say about the calm? Not every problem goes away with the coming of the calm. I know everything. Yeah, 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 whatever. How do we get out of here again? How do I go to the menu? It should be here, right? Right? Oh, here we go. Okay. Alright, so, uh, wait, what was, uh, Gagatzan? Gagatzat. Gagatzat is kind of hard. Oh, and Xander can ruins is really hard. So let's start with Bisaid Island. So we're starting kind of at the beginning. It's kind of, it kind of follows the same path as regular Final Fantasy X. It looks like not much has really changed in terms of new locations. Uh, Bisaid Island Sphere Hunt. Sphere of waves coming from Bisaid. Gather information in Bisaid Village and find that treasure sphere. Alright, so we gotta find the treasure sphere. Let's do it. Yo, we're back here. Right, this just brings back so much good memories, guys. Oh, I love Final Fantasy, man. It's such a great game. Wow, we're fighting someone in I'm gonna kick you in the spleen. Spleen? Let's see with the freaking fire sandals, bruh. Let's see what we can steal from them. Ow. This fire sandal should be OP. Let's go, Yuna. Dance! Summon the fires! Oh, he's not dead. There we go. Oh, yeah! Good job, girlies. Let's go. Alright, so we gotta find information about a sphere. A treasure treasure sphere. This must be how a runaway feels after finally coming home. This is the first time I've returned to Besaid since my oh, journey right. this began. Is, oh, okay. This is Yuna's hometown. Okay. Wow. So this is the first time visiting. It's in, in a while. Wow. This is so nostalgia, bro. <clears throat> wow. Look at the trees. I'm a little nervous. The trees look so I bad, but it just... The way it, you took off without vibe, a word. You know? Yeah, you said it. <gasps> you caused quite a fuss, young lady. Waka! I'm sorry. Well, as long as you're okay, yeah? I'm doing this for Your you friend? guys. I'm doing this oh, for you guys. This okay? is pain. We're looking for spheres together. She's like, don't fuck with me. So, you're a sphere hunter now. 
I heard the rumor. Look as stiff as hell, truth, boy. I wasn't too worried. Oh, Gotta God. say though, you uh, do seem pretty different. I've changed. <laughs> Oh, you haven't changed a bit, Tubby. Whoa, cut it out, ya! Yeah? I'm going to be a father soon. Got to have a little more presence, you know? How much longer? Any day now. Any Waka, day now. A daddy! To tell the truth, I'm so excited I sure don't feel like day. one. Holy. I mean, how do I know how a father's supposed to act in front of his kid? Why not just do what your parents did? Mm, don't remember them. Since or to that when I was still little. You don't have any spheres of them? Nope. Not a single... Oh. What's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Anyway, do me a favor and go say hi to Lou. She's been worried about right, you. Alright, so we got Waka and Lulu living at Pisaid. Just kind of settling down after the events of Final Fantasy X. And it looks like they're living a happy life. Unfortunately, I have nothing but bad things to say about Waka because he took my bae, Lulu. But you know what? You win some, you lose some. It's Keepa. You look like you're having fun, so I guess it's okay with me. I'm saving every last drop of stamina for Blitz this year, but all but uh, all this stamina is kind of making me sleepy. Huh? <clears throat> I think this might be a shop. Well, look who's here! Hope you decide to stick around for a bit. Okay, no, it's just the um the Blitz ball players just hanging out. Let's just go ahead and vibe out. We gotta find Lulu. Where's Lulu? You're not Lulu. Things have quieted down a lot since people stopped coming to pay you homage. Oh, wow. Welcome home. I hear you've been tra traveling all around Spira. So, yeah. Looks like things are good. Looks like things are good. Oh, here's Lulu. This is Bay. Welcome it's Bay. Hi, Lulu. So, tell us about the baby. It's gonna be born soon, right? Hmm, not yet. Waka's getting a little ahead of himself. Ah, bummer. Freaking Waka. So, care to go for this a guy walk? stole Lulu from me! You Can bastard. You? I could use the exercise. Come on. I literally purposefully made Lulu my strongest character in Final Fantasy X 2 just because I simped so hard for her. And I literally so, just went off so on brother for being a simp. Off without telling and I'm us. telling you right now that I'm a simp. But you know this, what? It's okay. The sphere. Waka told me it's about okay, it. Guys. The first part is acceptance. Okay. What is this? A treasure? Uh, oh, Lulu had the treasure sphere. Okay. Titus! Oh no! Kamari said he found it on Mount Gagazet. Kamari said he found it on Mount Gagazet. Clearly, that's not Titus. It just looks like him. It does look like him, though something seems a little off. Yeah. So yeah, from from Final Fantasy X, we all know that Titus died. Have you found anything? Titus was never really alive. Nothing. He was just a spirit. But there's the whole still time a lot of places him. we haven't looked yet. But kind it of be fun a physical being free spirit. To go you please. Because in this world, it there's like fun. that little um, I never afterworld a journey place. Quite like this. I'm not there, so you can spread your wings. Maybe. Huh. <laughs> you have spread your wings. Well, good luck. Gosh, Lulu's so bae. Yuna, never forget who you are. I love you. I love you, Lulu. You're the High Summoner that defeated Sin. There are those who would use that, Yuna. Huh? I'll be alright. I won't let myself be used anymore. Not by anyone. Ooh. Hm? It kicked. Really? It's alive! Guys, watch my Beyond Two Souls gameplay. It's 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 quality. The homeless episode, it's A1 A1 episode right there. Since you've come all this way, why not stay the night? 
All right, yeah, I'm down. I'm down to hang out with the gang. I hope you'll relax a bit before you take off, dude. Heck yeah, man. I'm down to chill out with the with the gang, man. I haven't seen I haven't seen you guys in a while. It feels good to see you guys again. Unfortunately, our main man Titus is not in the picture, as well as Oronskis. So other than that, you know, it's it's really amazing seeing all these old friends, you know. It's really nice. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I tell you I'm about it. I've got this key with the emblem of Besaid on it. How does 900,000 gil sound? No thanks. I mean, I'll probably buy it, but I don't have the money yet. It's been a long day. Maybe I should go check it out, but what if it's really... What if it's not really... Hmm. What? What are you talking about, Waka? Oh, there should be a treasure chest here, right? What the heck is up with the freaking camera? There was a treasure chest here in Final Fantasy X. But not in 10-2. Alright, let's go check out the temple. Let's just check out the vibes. I remember there was like a really big political problem in this game. The like the um the higher-ups were very corrupt. Um, so let's see how the uh, and the higher ups were pretty, you know, um, they were related. They, were, they had very, they had ties to the temples and shit. My, you seem to be doing well. Perhaps leaving the island was good for you, dear. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. I must steal this. I might have robbed this temple. Oh, oh, this is the key to open it. Okay. They say that only a key etched with the emblem of B C can open this, this chest. Okay, so we got a little bit of um. A um, little side stuff there. I love the side content there. I love doing side content. Who's this? I'm not scared of the temple. Not one bit. Yeah, yeah. We got the freaking monks just vibing out. Lady Yuna, I don't suppose you've came uh, been to the cave by the ruins? Not yet. Stop by after you've seen the cave. I'll tell you something quite special. Oh, is that right? You're a poor liar, child. Damn! This guy coming after me, bro. Lady, uh, cave by the ruins. So we have two little side quests there. That's really dope. Let's check what's in the door number, the center door here. We got this guy guarding it. The cloister of trials is off limits. Surely my lady high summoner knows this. Alright. So we actually just found the sphere already in Besaid Island. Um, really sick. So it looks like, um, yeah. I think that's it for the, um, the treasure sphere. I think we can just, like, maybe vibe out here at Besaid for a little bit. And then just, you know, <clears throat> just get, go on our merry way. We can talk to Lulu skis. Staying the night? Yes, I'd love to. Oh, we're taking a little nap skis, I guess. Did my game crash? Okay, no. I was like, what the heck's going on? Alright, so it looks like we're, you know, just stay the night and be safe. It looks like this is Lulu's house, I guess. Lulu's gone. Oh, here's Lulu. Good morning. Oh, where's the audio? I'm just hearing like this weird, like loud, like doom. Or like not loud, but it's like doom doom. Waka. He left at daybreak. He said something about a cave. Oh, a cave. A cave. That's I what the guy in temple is talking about. Want us to go find out? Yeah, there might be fiends. Thanks, though I doubt he'd have trouble handling a few fiends. Still yeah, Waka will be alright. It's not you like know. Waka to hide things. Well, yeah, what's he doing there? That's funny. I don't remember there being any cave. I don't know much about it either. Would you mind asking around? We're on the case. So you can actually choose to not accept the mission. Okay, and look, yeah, we accepted a mission. Okay. Where's Waka? Waka sure is acting weird. And now he's gone off to some cave? Gather clues from the villagers and track him down. Maybe you'll find treasure along the way. Objective. 
find Waka, and maybe something else. Ah! All right, let's go. Let's go. Where is Waka? Where is Waka? Press X to climb on. Any rare finds? Where is Waka? With all the runes scattered about their play. Oh. We need to talk to this guy. Okay, oh, my brother, the ciphers hidden by the shore are numbers 2, 3, and 4. 2, 3, 4. But he's not sure what it means. He heard it when he was a kid. So that's some sort of combination. 2, 3, 4. Ciphers by the shore? Yeah, I think I remember a friend telling me about four numeric keys hidden around the island. The four ciphers, that's what he called them. Whoa! Ciphers! Are we talking about rap ciphers? We start rap battling? Shit, is this where the ciphers are at? I don't think so. Alright, so it's like two, three, four. It's like the shore is two, three, four. I don't even know. Something like that. Something going on like that. Maybe we could stop by... Who's in here? This is where the, all the uh, players are. So the players might know something about Waka. A long time ago, I heard this riddle. The cipher easiest to see belongs before the other three. Man, what is this? Atop the shattered pillar's peak, you'll find the final clue you seek. Yummy cookies. You know the place where people are leaving the island pray for a safe trip? There's some numeric number. It's got okay. Right, I think I know where to go. I think I know where to go. Let me check out my abilities real quick. Inflict stop on one enemy. We'll learn borrowed time. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's learn this one. So we'll learn sticky fingers. Oh, this is the freaking Jojo Bizarre Adventure. I literally just like relate everything to Jojo Bizarre Adventure now. It's, it's a little unhealthy. So we're learning Ice Brand next. That's fine. And then what are we learning next for Yuna? We're learning Spinner. Inflict damage and confusion on an enemy. Okay. So we have Fire Sandals, Lightning Sandals, Ice Sandals, Water Sandals. Which is very similar to the Black Mage, right? Yeah, Thunder, Thunder, uh, but it's more like, it's different. These are like Sandals. I don't know what the Sandals is, but we're just going to stick with this. Let's go ahead. Who's this? Maybe she's got a clue. A cave on this island? I always thought that was just a rumor. Over where the road forks before you reach the beach. Yeah, there's supposed to be some kind of contraption there. Alright, F it. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Alright, in this case, let's go, girls. Let's go, girlies! Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that good? Is that good? Maybe? Too much? Too much? Alright, I've been recording for about an hour 30. I think that's good. I think we can go on for just like a little bit more. The, the um, shoe review was 20 minutes, so... I don't think I'll go for like maybe like 20, 30 more minutes. Maybe we'll do the whole Besaid Island thing. And then we'll probably end the video. Hey, Yeah, I'm so confused. What's the difference between Festivalist and Black Mage? Maybe Black Mage doesn't have any support tools, but maybe Festivalist has some support tools mixed with Black Mage tools? I, I don't know. Zero. What? Okay, like what does that mean? So I think they said something about the beach? Oh, we can't even go that way. So there's zero. I, I, I guess we gotta find zero, one, two, three, four, or something like that. And there's the other one right here. Oh, here we go. Zero, three. 
I don't know what's going on. Any trouble? We're fine. How about you guys? My heart is saying. Oh my god, brother, chill out. Huh? <laughs> this guy's in love with Yuna, dude. I don't know if that's a weird thing or I don't know. I actually don't want to know. <laughs> uh, so there was zero three. Now we just gotta find two and four. Come get some. Damn, yo, who is it? Why this guy's big as fuck, bro? <laughs> Big as shit. Two damage. Let's just keep hitting him with the fire sandals. Nice. Good thing that he's missing. Because this guy kind of hurts a little bit. He didn't steal anything from him, which sucks. Oh, okay. He's not that strong, though. Or he doesn't have that lot much health. So that's pretty good. <sighs> Oh, I spilled like orange juice on my keyboard a while back. It's kind of like sticky. Alright, so we got an ambush. Looks like they're gonna get the, um... See, we got that one. Very nice. Let's go ahead and just hit him with the regular attack skis. Let's go. Let's go, ladies. Let's do it. Let's do our thing. So yeah, we found zero, we found three. We just need to find two and four. What is this? What? Enter zero, oh wait, whoops. Zero, two, three, four. Nothing happens. Oh, the password here, it's zero, blank, blank, uh, zero, blank, blank, three. I'm pretty sure we could figure it out, like, by just probability and just, like, you know, freaking, um, whatever, the freaking, um, process of elimination, but let's Unit figure it out here. manually. Huh. That was so it weird. looks like we got a little, um, buzz in from Buddy, or brother, but, it's nothing. oh, Buddy, but, um, yeah, we got no message and it looks like he said something, actually. So here we're on the beach. It looks like we see that little pink um, little marker on the map showing us that that is where the next um, cipher code is or whatever the thing is called. So let's go ahead and um, check that out. But let's, let's, let's enjoy the view though, guys. Look at that. Wow. Oh, thumbnail, thumbnail. Is there a way to hide the map? Oh, Shibata. Is there a way to hide the map? Oh, baby. I don't think there is. Change parameters, special features. Hide HUD! Oh! Hide HUD! Oh! Thumbnail. Oh, let's go! Dude, this is so nice! Oh, it's so beautiful, guys! Alright. Wow, I mean, look at this. See, this is why I love gaming. And I love traveling. Because gaming and traveling, they're kind of similar. One's real life, one's virtually. And I mean, look at this, man. If this is what the metaverse is like, but like, it's like VR, that's gonna be crazy. It might be dangerous, but it could be cool. Wow, I mean, look at this, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe this will be a better screenshot, just because it's um, a little bit closer. So let's do it. Yuna's looking, Yuna's looking pretty good. So, you know, let's take a little screenshot, these a little thumbnail action. This is the HD remastered version, by the way. So we do have uh, improved graphics. And I'm looking for any, maybe, treasures. It looks like we are approaching. Oh, here we go. So we could start, we could do like climbing now. Six, the heck? That's so sick, that's so dope. That was something that we couldn't do in, um, in Final Fantasy X, we couldn't like really, you couldn't really like jump or anything. 
It was just pretty, the platforming was pretty bad, but there's like pretty good, there's like decent platforming here. That's, that's not bad, that's pretty cool. Oh, I remember here, you could swim. You could swim as Titus, but you can't swim here as Yuna? What? Uni. All right, so it looks like we can't, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. What are you kids doing here? Hee hee, bet you can't climb up here. I'm already here, fool. I'm already here, bozo. Yo, okay, there's the last one. This is sick. Wow, I love this. Whoa! Oh, okay, this is how you get here. Whoa! Secrets! What do we got here? High potion? Come on, that was a, that's a stinker right there. Where's like the cool items? A thousand gil? Alright, that's alright. That was a little stinky item though. Yo, this is so dope. I love this. I love how there's like this whole... Uh, just whole level of platforming added to Final Fantasy. That's so sick. You would never be able to platform like this in 10-2. I mean, in 10. Wow. Oh, okay, and we're just gone. All right, let, let's put in the code. Let's see what happens. Zero, six, five, three. Access granted. All right, we're just gonna go in. I was gonna take a right first. Oh, here's Waka. What the heck is he doing here? What the heck are you doing something here, wrong. Waka? We came to check on you. Is there something in this cave? Uh, yeah, something like that. Who knows, maybe it's not here, yeah? But I thought, what if? Maybe it's for real. What then is again, it, Waka? Spill the beans. Maybe it never was. Been so long, I'm not sure anymore. What do you mean? So, you're saying there's something that might be here and you want to know for sure, right? Right, but you see, I want to know, and then I sort of don't want to know. Huh? Oh man, make up your yeah, mind. Waka, you're so confusing, man. Just anyway? talking like freaking Confucius. Well, that... See, I heard there, there was this go. old sphere. Now he's spilling the beans. We're looking. He's, he knows of a sphere. Of what? A sphere of, you know, tidy whities uh, What does it matter? AKA Titus. Hey, whoa! Guys, check out my Final Fantasy X gameplay. Hunters. I mean, I have a Remember? playlist on it on my YouTube channel. Well, this is, good this as is ours. continuation from Final Fantasy all X. Right, go and we beat Final Fantasy X Time on for the channel. Business. It's all there. All the videos are there. Alright, so we're going to we're uh, sphere hunting. The gull wings, huh? And it looks like Waka's dad it out. He's dad bought it out. He's, he's going to sit this one out. He's going to leave this one to the, to the girlies. Oh, the music. Enter four zero six five three. Okay, that's not it. Let's go out. I love the music. Wow, that that um the score there was awesome. The musical choice there was perfect. A little dungeon dungeon rating music. That's sick. Oh wow! Oh my God! It's this place again. This is bringing up so many memories, dude. I love Final Fantasy X, by the way. That was like, it was more than a game to me. And I played it when it came out, when it came out on the PlayStation 2, when you bought the, the game and had Final Fantasy, it had the greatest hits edition with like the red, it had the red label. That's when you knew it was like the best seller or whatever. This is just, it's just bringing me back. It's just bringing me back. Man, I, I love that game. Like I said, it was more than a game for me. It was like literally like I don't know. It was just so it was just so great. All right, it looks like that leads nowhere, but just like a great view, just an all-around great view. So it looks like we have a cloister of trials of some sorts right here, but um maybe a little bit different. <laughs> looks like it's like cipher or something. Like that. It's party time. Anything goes. All right, party time. Let's do it. Listen with the fire sandals, baby. Hey, uh, stole a potion. All right, hit him with the fire, guh. <laughs> there we go. Gotcha. Nice, clean fight. Hey, yeah, we jumped their ass. We surrounded them and jumped their ass, literally. Damn, we kind of own. This is 
brother. You all right, Yuna? Yes, sir. Just ignore him. This guy's like in love with Yuna. Isn't that dude like our cousin or something? What kind of pervert, what kind of pervert shit is this guy on? Or I don't know if, I know Yuna is, I mean I know Riku's cousins. Riku's cousin with Yuna, but I don't know about brother. Brother! Get him! Smack! So it looks like Festivalist has a double attack, kind of similar to Rogue. Oh, a treasure chest. Sweet! Potions? Man, what the hell? Uh, our health is looking decent. White magic? It looks like we don't have a white magic ability yet. This is your lucky day. I'm gonna fight all the monsters that I possibly can. Just because it's gonna be really important for fighting bosses later, having that XP is just gonna, you know, make us stronger in the long run. So we definitely, we definitely want to take as many fights as possible, as many fights as we can. We've got bigger fish to fry. Pain looks like some sort of Asian, but like also white. It's weird. Alright, here we go. Oh. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we got like a little murloc looking creature. And then we, this is the same guy, we, we've seen this fiend, we've seen both of these fiends before. Both these fiends have been in Final Fantasy. Um, I think they're just a little bit upgraded models. Learn Takers spinner. Keepers. All right. So we learned spinner, right? Now we're on to Popper. Okay, so the Popper is this damage one enemy. Uh, what is Pointless proof? Guards against Pointless, Guards against Silence. Alright, oh, whatever. Let's just go. Oh, shoot. There we go. Nice. I love the platforming, though. The platforming got... Um, a little uh, platforming 2.0 in this game. I really like it. What is this? Oh, it's the sphere. Oh shit! Find a sphere and the fiends appear. Facts. All right, so let's we got ourselves a little boss here. Uh, let's go ahead and ice. Let's go ahead and power break him. Let's see what Spinner does. Let's steal from him. Flame Breath. Oh boy, that is painful. Oh, we all char- we charged up though. Oh, we charged up. Oh shit. It looks like uh, he is guarding against the Spinner ability, which is not good. We stole the high potion. Pain should heal Yuna. Right now. Oh Jesus. Uh high potion. No, we just need to use a regular potion. And then we'll use a regular potion on pain. And then we'll go for the um fire sandals. Let's just attack. Sword play. Let's see Ice Brand. Let's see how Ice Brand works. Fire Aga. Fire Aga does deal damage. Let's heal up Yuna. Yuna just took a hit, so that's actually good. Let's keep hitting him with the fire sandals. We're doing okay. I'm just gonna spend all my mana. That was a good uh, dodge there from Riku. Definitely gonna help with the uh, damage mitigation vibes. Let's, I'm gonna throw a potion onto. Pain. Hit him with the ice brand. This is a this is a new fiend though, by the way. This is a new fiend. So really dope. I haven't seen this fiend before. Let's steal. Looks like we stabilized a little bit. That flame breath in the beginning hurt really bad. Especially for all my, you know, my whole team. They did that AoE vibe. Let's just go ahead and hit him with the. Let's just keep on just 
hitting him with the abilities. Looks like he's not going to cast Flame Breath for maybe a little bit. I'm trying to steal something from this guy, but Riku's not stealing anything. Dodge? Nice. Let's just hit him with the attacks. He might, he might uh, have another Flame Breath ready. Let's just, let's just, let's just wail on the basic attacks. We should eventually just take him down. Let's hit him with the potion. Let's try a Ice Brand and Fire Sandals. Maybe this will, this will end him. Oh, there's the Flame Breath. Okay, so it looks like after a little bit he does hit that Flame Breath. We do cast the oh someone's casting a potion. Is it pain? Oh no, he's dead! We were oh my god, that was a Yeah, that was a pretty um pretty hard boss. I mean not hard, but it, it he almost he got us pretty low. One more for the goings! Let's go, Uni. You scored the white mage dresser. Okay, so we have a healer class now. Dope. Uh, I think we're all pretty low on health. Yeah, so let me... Let's just hit him. Let's hit everyone with the cure skis. Alright, that's good. Okay, so we have Yuna as festival list. And we have two damage dealers. Might switch Yuna to white mage? I, mean, I don't know. You, in Final Fantasy X... You could have, like, heal abilities as a Dark Mage, so we'll see what happens. We'll see if we're we'll able to do that. Alright, so we should probably just have to talk to Waka. And then, um, hopefully open that other door. There's, like, a door on the other side. Alright, let's go, Yuna. She's dancing. She's dancing. He's gonna cast fire like this soon. There it is. Oh, just regular fire. Alright, let's just let's just basic attack these guys down. These guys aren't too tough. We can just you don't need to waste any mana. Just boom. Takers keepers! Let's go. Okay. Cool beans. Waka, you still there? He's still there? Oh, he's still here, okay. Find anything? Yeah. We sure did. I found a sphere. Let's take a look. All right, so maybe we're gonna uncover some more answers around where maybe Titus might be, potentially, or could be, or if he even is alive. <laughs> so it looks like there's a, a sphere of Bisay. There's a treasure chest up there. Treasure chest down there. Oh, that, that, was, that was it. You scored the key item, Besaid Sphere. Is it? Nah, afraid not. Okay. So, what sphere oh, were you so looking that, that's for? That's not the right sphere. Okay. Uh, well, is Waka also looking it's for It's a sphere titles? of our parents. Oh. Chapu said he found it. Chapu? Oh, your brother. He was a crusader. Now he's gone on to right, the, the far, far plane. plane. Far Scene plane. got our parents not That's long like the after the afterlife. Born. That's how Titus we was able too to too young to remember their faces, you know. in the real world the when far When we were plane. kids, we got into a fight one I'll time and Chapu really, said, I, didn't the name. "I found a sphere with mom and dad in it, but I'm not telling you where it is." And you Some never asked typical him. brothers act brotherly I was too activity right there. to let my little brother win. So I went on without asking until I just forgot about it. Then yesterday, talking with you made me think about it again. Wow. Chapu used to play in this cave, so I thought maybe he found a sphere he here. He used yeah? to play in that cave, man. What but the hell? when I came to look, I got to thinking. About what? See, I got this picture of my parents in my head. Yeah, like strong and kind. Whenever things got tough, those are the parents I imagined. But their real faces might be totally different, yeah? I think about that, and I'm not so sure I really want to know. I was sitting there trying to figure out what to do, and then you guys showed up. Oh, <laughs> that's our Waka. 
the sphere might still be somewhere on the island. Should we look for Let's it? Let's look for it. Nah, that's all right. I'm too worried about that stuff. What? What's past is past, yeah? Can't let it get to me. I'm going to be a father soon. Got to pull it together. Yeah, I guess. That's right, Dad. Huh. But, uh... Just how am I supposed to pull it together? Sure yeah, wish I had hell? something to, to go by. You know that by, by now, you know? Waka. <sighs> Freaking useless. Right, Riku is right. You read me? You guys about finished down there? Brother's starting to get on my nerves. Yeah, we'll be back soon. Okay. Yeah! Yo, brother is a simp, bro. This dude is literally simped out, dog. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a simp to a certain degree. You scored the protection halo Garmin grid. I'm a simp to agree, but brother, jeez, this man is like, he is all, he is all in one. So it looks like that was the entire mission for the Pisaid Island. That was um, not that um, relevant at all. Just kind of like a little side thing, just reintroducing um, some old, uh, old friends to the, um, uh, to the game. So pretty cool. Uh, not much in terms of uh, plot, but yeah, just uh, reuniting with Waka and Lulu. So Waka wants to see a father in action. He can't forget about that good-for-nothing pop of mine. First, there's a sphere, then there isn't. Is he always like that? Yeah, so we had a sphere, and then literally when we got it, he was like, no, that's not it. What the hell? I'm picking up a treasure, a treasure sphere somewhere in Xanarkin. Return to the bridge. Okay, so we have to go to Xanarkin. But it's not like an order, so... If the fiends are too tough for you, come home lickety split. Split, Yuna. We can find weaker fiends around Spira for you to kick around until you're stronger, then uh, you try the mission again. Okay, cool. So in this game, it seems as if they let you have a little more freedom in terms of like where you tell how you follow the story. I know. So I like that. That's pretty cool because we were able to just go to Mount Gag Gazette, learn about the story there, which we kind of shouldn't have um, done that because now the cutscene won't trigger probably when we have to actually go there. But what the story was was um, Kimari's the elder. There's like these two Ronso children who. Something wrong with you know? I wasn't paying attention. They're doing missing or something like that. I don't, I don't even know. But I think this will be a good place to end the video, don't you think? We did the tutorial pretty much at Mount Gagazet, and then we did another tutorial kind of vibe at the Save Island. And yeah, let's just end the video. I'm not centered up. Sorry about that. All right, guys. Wait, how long have I even been recording for? Oh, okay, we're at two hours. Okay, guys. So that's gonna be the end of part. 1.2 1-2 of Final Fantasy X-2 If you guys enjoyed that video uh, Leave a like leave a subscribe leave a comment is X2 um, Did you guys like X2? Um, definitely a completely different vibe from the first one the first one was like so serious and so like just so crazy. This one seems more laid back, which I, I, I kind of I kind of don't mind. I kind of like this vibe. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited to finish Final Fantasy X-2, a game that I was never never able to finish as a kid, just because I was like a little bit. I think I was just like not smart enough to finish the game. You know, I was too young. But um, now I I think I hope I can finish this. So that would be that's gonna be pretty exciting to know how this story ends because I still don't know how the story ends. I mean, I spoiled it for myself, but. It's good to like play through it to know every detail and stuff, so... Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. Hopefully you guys also uh, like that uh, shoe unboxing. Also, you can leave a comment if you cop the Sean's. I think, um, they're definitely, um, a W shoe. A W design shoe from his most recent releases, which have been riddled with bad colorways and bad silhouettes respectfully. Some of them are nice. I did like that flower one with like the flower like frills on the side of the shoes. I do like those, but they're a little too loud and it's more like a fashion piece, but like I said, it's not, people really haven't been feeling those. 
but I feel like people will be feeling these Shawns because these are actually really clean, super wearable. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for me today. More Final Fantasy 10-2 content coming up. God of War after this. Hopefully, Cataclysm after that. That's gonna be the schedule. Um, and then obviously, we're gonna if Cataclysm doesn't come out, we're gonna fit in some single player games. Uh, leave some recommendations too of what games you guys want me to play. Um, I appreciate you guys all for watching. Thank you guys a bunch, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!